Yeah, this was clearly not a good practice for us. Uh, we were in practice 11, and out of our 11 practices, this was this was the one that lacked energy, lacked enthusiasm uh, from top to bottom. So much to the point at the end when we're in the team period, um, I had to. Had to end that period a little bit early and put them on the sideline and run them because we were we were undisciplined. We had guys falling on the ground. We almost had a couple of guys get hurt just because of lack of focus. So uh, it was a learning lesson for us today uh, on how to react after a scrimmage, how to come back out. You know, I talked to them about it as a team, told them they were going to be challenged today. But you get out here and it's you know 90 something degrees and, and we were mentally challenged. So we'll, we'll have to learn from it and grow from it. Yeah, I was really really excited with what I saw. It, it, looked like what I thought I saw on the field from those 90 plays. It looked fast. It looked like there was a lot of energy both sides of the ball. I felt like guys uh, really played hard in that scrimmage, and I feel like we're a much improved football team. Yeah, Angus Harper is really, uh, really developing very well in camp. He's getting a lot of reps right now with uh, with Mario Crawford and Colby Goodwin being nicked up a little bit. We expect those two back uh, here in the next few days, uh, but he's been getting a lot of work. Malik Jackson, uh, freshman. Um, out of D.C. has been doing very well, very impressed with him. Uh, we moved Rashad Manley from quarterback over to running back. He's been playing that, and we moved Lorenzo Smith uh, from defensive back corner position. Uh, today we moved him to running back, and he looked good out there in the drill. So uh, it's why you recruit guys who can play multiple positions, guys are athletics, and you get in a position like this, uh, you can get some work out of some guys. But uh, been very pleased with what Angus has done so far in camp.